Welcome back. It's day six of the 12 days of IBN, and we have a bottle that we haven't had access to in a while. Yeah, this is E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Batch 12. Yep, 2023. So, thank you to a generous donor yes. uh, who provided us with this bottle. We do appreciate it very much. If you've been following us, you know about our E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof dinner and batch one through six tasting that we did back in November. Oh, just a short month ago. The gentleman wow. who gifted us those six then gifted us the next six. Uh, of course, that was for charity. Can you believe it? And we thought, well, since we have the 2023 version here, let's take a little bit. Just a little bit. And if we're the ones who, you know, can't drink batch 12 at the dinner at because the next we've already one. had it, then so be so it. So be it. But pause for cork pop. Oh, All yeah. right. Okay. Okie dokie. Proof on this one, Sarah? 131.1 proof. Yeah. Love to see it. Big fan of these. Haven't met one I didn't like. That dinner was so fun. Being able to see the progression of years from 2012 to 2017. Very cool. We'll be able to do it again uh, next year from 2018 to 2023. Yeah, raise some more money for a good charity. But after that, we won't be able to. I mean, <laughs> It'll take know, another six right? years. Yeah. Um, but it'll be fun. Maybe, you know, if these dinners are a success, Maybe we can do it with other bottles. Mm -hmm. It's giving me sticky toffee pudding vibes and oak. Okay, yeah, very kind of holiday, yeah. right? Yeah. Like that holiday spice, um, some, you know, like dates, that kind of uh, stone fruit, but sweet also. Also something cooking in a in a fire stove or something in a cast iron skillet. Okay. It's, um, it's got a little bit of kind of smoke, not like peat smoke, we're not like talking about that, but like a um, uh, bonfire type of smoke I see in the that air. completely, yeah. Yeah, that's working really nicely, Ooh. I think, with the wood notes. It's also pretty subtle. Yeah, um, maybe... We'll give it a second. I, I'm getting a little bit of savory mm -hmm. uh, on the nose. It's honestly kind of making my mouth water I a know. little bit. Oh, the more I go back to nose it, the more of that savory note really comes through. I, but, I can see what you're saying about the... But your typical... Um, grapey, some say grape, some say cherry, buffalo traceness isn't so much, it's not I, showing up in the nose at least. I get it in like the date. The um, date, yeah, yeah, the stone fruit. Okay, well, let's see what's on the palate. To your health. Stop, that is really good. That's really good. <laughs> wow, I just air horned. Right, don't we have a sound effect for that? <laughs> wow, that's some stuff. Yep. Woo! Like that. Oh, and it is. Oh, fire! The fireplace, the smoke. Yeah. Um, in a, uh, you know, someone maybe didn't open the flue, and it's kind of coming into the house type yeah. of, type of smoke. A little bit of a campfire thing mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. A hearth fire. And then on the finish, which it's starting to quickly roll into the chest here, it's going into that barrel, the barrel oak mm. char. Real uh, nice. Yeah, but on the palate, it was just like. Smoke and outdoors and woodsy and uh, in that little bit of that cast, cast iron skillet, mm. um, good country cooking, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go in for a second sip. Yeah. Even though I'm not quite ready, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you. That initial mouthfeel, oh wow. As it rolls into, you know, back towards the finish and that oak becomes more prevalent, the mouthfeel does get a little bit drier, but that's what I would expect with, again, this proof and that and this level of oak. Mm -hmm. But when it first hits your tongue, you're like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, while we um, <clears throat> let this kind of come down on our palate before we go into our third sip, we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing, the sweater that you're wearing. Sweatshirts that sweatshirt. I live in now, yes. basically. <laughs> yeah, basically. Don't worry about it. Uh, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from, but also our water glasses, our copitas, our rocks glasses. We have challenge coins, new pens, um, bottle cut candles, and more. That's always coming soon. Our new syrups and our coffee as well at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for one buck a month. That's right, Chad. Almost got you when you were drinking your water. And that's where you can get discounts on that merch that Chad was talking about, depending on your tier. You get after the episode exclusive access to barrel picks, which is like huge, uh, and more. We just had our Patreon holiday party via live the other night. This morning was rough. Yeah, it was. This morning was rough. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> because this is waking us up. All right. That's what I, my body needed <clears throat> more. <laughs> we'll hear the dog. Third sip here. Yeah, I can't get over how much sort of smoke, and again, not in any type of peaty fashion at all, because sometimes when you 
people say smoke with whiskey, they automatically think of that. But just how much presence of... I definitely uh, think it's coming off as like barrel char yeah, for me. Yeah, barrel char and just outdoor woodsiness. Yeah, um, for sure. That is, is in this. You know, we've not too long ago, as we said, had batches one through six, and I don't remember this profile I don't remember being this really profile. in any of those. It does, I think, on the palate, have more of that jammy, um, grapey kind typical of- typical yeah. Buffalo Trace. Mm -hmm. And it's like very, this is weird, but it's like really juicy up front. Do you, but that's what, kind of what I was talking about, like that initial yeah. sip, where it's kind of like a burst in the mouthfeel department. I think that's kind of where that's coming into play the most. And then as the oak takes over, that kind of goes away. It's not really fair to compare it to something that came out in 2012 to 2017, but thinking about those, since we have had those recently, um, not quite the mouthfeel that some of those had. It is a little drier. But I think it's perfect, honestly. It's just not as luscious. Yeah. I don't think you guys <laughs> so need sorry. us to tell you that I mean, in our, in my opinion, I don't think you can go wrong with one of these. I don't think anybody needs us to hype uh, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. No. In fact, some people who are watching this might not like that we're covering it at all, and that's fine. Well, we haven't covered one in a while. We haven't. Uh, again, as we said, this bottle was generously gifted to us for a charitable cause, but we took just a little bit to do this. Just a wee nip. We fully recognize that you can't just walk out and find this on the shelf. I don't even know what suggested retail is can't because even... that's such kind of a joke. <laughs> be like, uh, well, yeah, this Ferrari is suggested at fifty thousand, but everyone's right. selling it for two hundred and fifty. Right. You know, like, and when was the last time you even saw one I couldn't, anywhere? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. In our area, anyways. Maybe, maybe they're plentiful where you're at. If they are, I would recommend it for retail. But it's really good. It is really good. <laughs> I am enjoying it. All right. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. You haven't subscribed to us already. You can do it by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right, until tomorrow, drink more bourbon.